so hello everyone again and welcome to my channel so this particular section is actually part two from my previous video where i looked at the hetero reaction and this involves actually a four plus two cycle addition pretty much how we're able to transform this particular species to this particular species in the presence of potassium bromide and potassium peroxy monosulfate so in this particular other so, um ligand over here we're going to have sulfur attached to pretty much four oxygens but then one of the oxygen is attached to an hydroxyl group so that makes it five oxygens and then a hydrogen atom over there so this is pretty much the molecular formula of that particular compound and this aids in the transformation of this particular species into a particular species that will be involved in a two segment and then this particular species will be transformed into a four segment so as to be able to enhance the reaction of a four plus two cyclo addition so this is what is being formed where we have a hydrogen pointing upwards as a result of a dissertatory reaction over here and we have our four position where we have two double bonds over here so these two double bonds will interact with this double bond over here to generate this particular product which has a very interesting regio chemistry or regio selectivity and also we have a stereochemistry involved in this particular species so first of all let's look at what is happening here at the molecular level in terms of the molecular orbitals so coming back here we have this particular species here which is actually a diene and dienes mostly are known to be much more of an electron donating group because they have a lot of electrons in here and these electrons are pretty much present mostly in the homostate and this homostate can be obtained originally for looking at the four possible ways and these four possible ways is because we are looking at only four carbon atoms that generate a nice conjugating system around this particular system over here or this particular species so let's start with the pi system over here we have first of all we have our one next we have our two second we have our three and lastly we have our four so we know that there are actually four electrons here that are quite mobile so how do we feel we first feel this lowest energy level then pair up and then go over and pair this up as well so those are the four electrons so this particular region over here that is quite closer to this empty orbital is known as the HOMO and this HOMO then enhance the donation of the electrons so let's focus now on the molecular orbitals that are actually present in the HOMO state starting with the wavelet of one or the possible way we have four electrons or four orbitals and they are all completely shaded as are all in phase of each other so therefore there'll be a nice overlap over here and there will be no node at all as we move over to this particular second state over here which is has a higher level and a much more unstable then will lead to the formation of a node which is probably at the center over here so if we draw another one possible way what we get is a node over here and then this particular region will be in phase having nice overlap here and over here we're going to have an overlap over here thereby at this region over here there will be no overlap due to the arrow phase here so there will be an interaction here but in here there will be interactions over there so next one is the that into three and what we get is two nodes and two nodes can pretty much 
from either ways but you need to try as much as possible to be symmetrical at some point so most probably I'll probably put my node here and my node over there and therefore what that results is no overlap over there because they are both out of phase but this and that are both in phase and this and that are out of phase over there and then lastly our number 4 is going to have all out of phase so what the least is this shaded that unshaded shaded this shaded and that shaded so no overlap no overlap no overlap so therefore we're going to choose our homo to be that particular orbital overlap over there so if i draw that translating it into here i'm going to get this all having the same coefficients because there is no redrawing group and this particular compound here is symmetrical now what we get over here is both guys here are in phase and both guys here are in phase but these two guys over here are both out of phase of each other <coughs> so in this other particular species here we have this particular species called the dienophile and this dienophile is known to have only two species and in two, these two species tend to have a nice pi orbitals over here so these pi orbitals here have only two possibilities because there are only two species in here we have sigma 1 and 2 so what happens then is that the two electrons that are actually filled in this particular pi orbitals they are already occupying this region and this lower state is actually the homo however we need to focus more on the lumo because there is no electrons over there so since there are no electrons in this particular state what we need to do is to look at the molecular orbital and what we do have is just one node which is at the center in phase out of phase on the other side in here we don't care about this because these guys must be in phase it doesn't matter which one you choose to shade either this or that or this or that it's still the same thing so once we pick that then this that we pick is going to be placed on top of the nitrogen over there and what that leads is we having in phase and out of phase and you know that there is no form of orbital um disruption in the coefficients because this molecule here is symmetrical as well so now therefore if you want to do an orbital overlap that leads to the formation of a sigma bond translating from the pi bond what we do get is that this orbital over here will overlap with that orbital over here and this orbital over here will overlap with that orbital over there so what that leaves is because this is both are in phase with each other and this is in phase of each other so therefore when you're drawing the arrow pushing what we do get is a cyclization which is a 4 plus 2 cycle addition that leads to this orbital here or this pi system forming another pi system over there this pi system becomes a sigma bonding between this carbon and this nitrogen this pi system that becomes a sigma bonding <coughs> between this nitrogen and this carbon over there therefore what the result is the formation of our product which is this particular compound over there sorry my drain is bad but I have no excuse because we are chemists and chemists we try to make things beautiful <laughs> so
So here you have it. And it's quite fascinating because of how the stereochemistry of this product actually relates to the radio chemistry or I'll say the radio yeah the radio chemistry of a particular um, orbital overlap intermediate over here. So this our stereochemistry is all related to all the compounds positioned in the C's form and all these positioning in the cis form is as a result of the first we have an orbital interaction between all these pi orbitals over here and this intermediate species over here like the oxygen and carbon with the, some kind of dipole interaction that makes this particular region to be laid on top of each other a little bit so there will be a nice orbital overlap between each other where you have the dyne actually on top of the dino file thereby causing a kind of a disjunction in this particular bond that makes a repulsion between the electrons to project this particular region over here upwards so that leads from this so therefore you are going from this seed form to a disjointed form that makes this particular structure to be positioned in this particular manner now this product is quite similar to what we have over here the only difference is that we just have to twist this rotate this 180 degrees and then what we do well, let me just draw the arrow over there if I rotate this 180 degrees I should get this particular structure over there anyways guys that's about it for this particular topic I hope you're able to understand or see the big picture of the orbital overlap and also how you're able to transform the dyne and the dyno file into a final product and also been able to see the radio chemistry and also the stereochemistry of a particular product. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it or if you found this useful. Subscribe and share with everyone around you. Have a good day. Peace. Love you all. And be smart.